Hi there. I wanted to uh, talk about uh, tightening uh, the wrap on its whole width uh, as part of essential tightening techniques. So here I have my demo doll in a front wrap cross carry. I just popped baby in. I haven't tightened yet. And the thing I will focus, as I said, is the tightening the whole width of the wrap. So first thing to note is when do you tighten the whole width of the wrap? And you do it after you've done the strand by strand tightening. So I have not done the strand by strand tightening here. I have a loose top rail, and tightening the whole width will not help me with a loose top rail. So let me quickly tighten this up. I'm not going to focus on that in this video, but I'm going to quickly strand by strand tighten this up. Showing the using the techniques in my other video. Okay. So now I have a strand by strand tightened carry. So all the strands should be evenly tightened. And one complaint people have as babies get older is that even though they did good strand by strand tightening, and the top rail is tight and the middle seems more or less tight, and the bottom rail seems more or less tight, the carry sags over time. Um, and one solution in, to that, a big solution, a big component of wrapping, is that you need to tighten also the width of the wrap. You need to do one step where you're tightening, where all the strands are being tightened at the same time. Um, and as I said, you do that after strand by strand tightening, and you also uh, follow the same rules as you do when feeding out all slack, which is that you make sure you can do it without too much trick and friction. You're not, you may, should make sure not to try to make your slack tra tra travel uh, around two corners. So for example, if I just did this, that would not do it if I just pull forward because I'm trying to get at the slack of this pass over the baby, but if I pull forward, uh, I'm trying to make the slack go around my side and around my shoulder, and that's not going to get at the slack in this pass. So how do we do whole wrap tightening? It is different, different in every carry, but in a front wrap cross carry, what you do is a V-pull. So you hold the tails, and to get rid of the friction, to make sure that the slack only has to go around your side, you lift your tails, and you actually can put your hands behind you. The more behind, the more, the, uh, the less friction you'll have, and you bounce. Okay, wh why the bounce? Because as you bounce, uh, temporarily the baby is not supported by the wrap as they're traveling up, and that means you can actually pull and get slack out. So, bounce and pull behind you. Bounce and pull behind you. And now, whole wrap tightening, as I said, is a key step in most carries. This is what it looks like in front wrap cross carry. It looks different in other carries. And after I've done this bounce, I can feel that the baby is snugger. The whole width of the wrap is snugger, and the baby is pulled in more towards me than baby used to be. Uh, again, if you had a loose top rail, this is not going to fix it. This is going to do is taking all strands evenly and make the carry less saggy. After you do this, you of course finish the carry in the usual way. But this will make for a tighter, less saggy carry. Alright, bye!